Hello everybody, this is 915 Mang here hanging out with you guys today. I got the low boy fish tank. It is a frag tank by Zoo Med. And uh, Zoo Med, they make a lot of stuff for reptiles, lizards, and things like that. But they also make a pretty nice frag tank. This one is drillable. It is not tempered. The glass is not tempered. What tempered means is, is if you try to drill it, it'll shatter. Uh, but this one you can drill and add overflows and things like that. When I was doing this tank, I was thinking about just making it an all-in-one aquarium. It'd be very easy to do. And the reason I'm adding this tank to my uh, collection is so that I can have a grow-out tank for all the extra frags um, that I'm going to be having later on. Uh, let me give you a pro tip on taking these things off. Get yourself some scissors. And cut them but if not find these little flaps right here and go ahead and loosen it up. I learned really quickly how to use these things you just peel it and pop it and it works great I want you guys to get a good tape measure I'm gonna show you how to what kind I use it breaks it down real easy 1 8 1 4 3 8 half 5 8 3 quarters 7 8 it makes the job super easy I don't know if you guys know this but wood prices are retarded right now out the roof so I'm gonna be using reused wood but first go ahead and get yourself a sip and let's get back to it um, I have this skill craftsman uh, miter saw and it works really good it comes with a laser uh, but I'm gonna be using this to do simple straight up and down cuts so follow along hang out and watch this video with me uh, this is the easiest way possible I've done a ton of tanks you know they, you have to do all kinds of measurements and things like that this is the easiest way to do it I cut the two by fours the length of the tank and then from there I measure the inside of the two by fours um, with that tape measure and I cut as needed there's a ton of videos you can watch ton of fish tank how to build fish tank stands and things like that but this is the easiest way you know I kind of refined it down you know cut the length and then measure from the inside using a good tape measure and then there you go screw it together and you're good to go and you're basically repeat the process as you can see it's like 20 and 5 eighths that you got to cut the next board for it to fit perfectly you know I've seen the videos where they cut one piece and they just trace that piece over and over but it's never quite the same that's why I like using the tape measure it tells me exactly how long it is 20 and 5 8 I mark it with the tick mark and then I cut it and fill it in there's the you can see it fits perfectly right there and then I just add the long boards and drill them together another tool that's gonna make your fish tank build way easier and allow you to do it by yourself is this little piece right here um, I got this from uh, Home Depot it's the wall you just squeeze it together and it'll hold the, the wood for you getting two of them is great I just bought one because you know I was kind of on a budget all my money goes to corals okay so here we go this is what I'm talking about as you can see you know some of you guys are visual learners other people are hands-on learners and uh, I'm gonna apply this video for both of you guys like I said I reused two by four that I had laying around uh, and I looked down the two by fours to make sure they were still straight before I built but you get this thing this clamp and you just squeeze it not too hard enough to hold pressure to all the wood and then go from there two clamps are way better than one but if you have one you can get the job done still uh, I will probably buy another clamp later on I don't know yet because I really don't build too much and I don't plan on building any more uh, fish tank stands for now but what I'm doing is I got a small bit smaller than the screw do not use nails on your fish tank stand builds you could probably do it but I really rec recommend using a screw because the screws hold so much they can hold like up to 200 300 pounds per screw uh, this is the kind that I use a self tapping don't go cheap uh, and then as you can see for visual reference that's how much it's going to be going into the other uh, piece of wood then multiply that by two or three and you're good to go 
I use the pilot uh, to drill into the wood so that way it doesn't split. Um, another great pro tip is to use an impact drill. Okay, it's going to make life so much easier. It's going to push the screws in way easier than you would be doing with a regular drill. Trust me on that. If you're actually using my video to make yourself a stand, drop it in the comments below. Let me know how yours came out. Uh, this is the basic stand. It works so well and it will hold a lot. You can pause this video if you want to study it. You can see what I did. You can also see all the other holes in the 2x4 because I did reuse this piece of wood. Now, I picked up some frag discs from Aquarium Supply and uh, I'm gonna, instead of using frag racks, I'm gonna be using frag discs. Okay, I'm gonna be growing all kinds of coral and mainly zoles. They did come a little cracked. Uh, it's not a big deal. I contacted the company and they gave me some re reward points. Also scored a few three bottle pieces of glue and I picked these up at the dollar store. I'm gonna refill this Aqua Max uh, dosing container because it wasn't really good for me. It did leak, but it does hold my super glue just fine. For more great reefing videos and other topics, follow along, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate you all. And don't be a weenie, hit that subscribe. Take care guys.